Previously on Beyond the Bounds, we explored Hawkhaven and Gragtown, two exterior test cells in Oblivion, and some of the interior test cells accessible from these locations. This time, we will be looking at 47, yes, 47, interior test cells. Don't worry, most of these cells are fairly boring and we can skip right over them, which is both disappointing and a relief. Without further waiting, let's jump straight in. Oh, by the way, this isn't even half of the total number of test cells left over in Oblivion. Yeah, we're going to be here a while. Ooh. COC Anvil Mark Test. An empty room without a working exit, so there's nothing of interest here. COC Arena Combatants Holding. This cell contains all arena combatants that would appear in the betting portion of the Imperial City Arena. One interesting thing about the Gamebryo engine is that a lot of time the characters must exist somewhere else and be called upon when required and this happens to be the holding cell for the arena fighters. You cannot interact with any of these NPCs, so the room serves very little interest for us. COC, Deirdric Holding Pen. This is the holding cell for the corrupted clone NPCs and Castor Flavus, who gives us the quest to meet Lord Mermaeus Mora when spoken to. This cell has no flaw and as a result, all NPCs are constantly falling into nothingness. You need to use TCL, Toggle Collision, to get around this cell more effectively. COC Dark Brotherhood Holding Pen The Elder Scrolls Wiki assured me that Lucien Lachance, the man who provides you with the Dark Brotherhood quest, should be held in this cell, but I couldn't find him. COC Dark Wrath Holding Pen this cell holds the Wrath of Sithis enemies. I think these might be summoned by enemy necromancers, but it has been a very long time since I played Oblivion through, so I could be very wrong. They attack if you approach them, so they're clearly flagged as hostile. COC Emil Test This cell contains many items associated with the Dark Brotherhood, including the corpse remains of Svenja and the dead drop orders. The doors inside this cell are locked, and all lead to the associated door on the other side. Some items in the cell are quest items, and therefore cannot be removed from your inventory once collected. In the chest labelled Chesto Stuff, the Shrouded Armour and Black Hand Armour sets can be obtained. There is also 1000 gold and 500 lockpicks, various weapons and some necromancy scrolls including Summon Rufio's Ghost. COC Guard Combo Test. Just a bunch of guards. One of them gives you a quest, so do be careful. Nothing much to say about this cell. Haven't tested to see what prison you get thrown in if you commit a crime, but I'd assume Imperial City. COC Hack Dirt. I was under the impression this cell contained some items, but it just seems to be a cell of pure nothing. COC Harlan's Watch Temp. Anvil Mark Test, but with a door that doesn't lead anywhere. COC Periite World Temp. Another Anvil Mark Test clone, this time no door. COC Test Allen. A large room containing tables with some weapons, some armor, some clothes. A blindfolded NPC named Kill Me walks around, who presents a message, you killed me, when killed. One table has journals, instructions, and scrolls. Another has potions and some ingredients. Four elements appear in this room. I barely recall what they are or what they do. Also, some sort of ice sculpture, which I believe might be from the end game. The wooden door does not allow you to leave. COC Test AR. This cell is a test area based on the Aelid ruins, hence the AR. There are two skeletons here, but they are not hostile towards you unless provoked. 
Nothing of interest to me appears here. COC Test Arena. An empty version of the arena states the Elder Scrolls wiki, but it's not, because there's a bloody land drow in here. Mace of Doom makes short work of it. Ouch. Maybe not. There is very little else here. No containers, no NPCs, no accessible doors. Apparently, the contents of this cell change based on what you have installed. If you have the Thieves' Den or Shivering Isles, apparently different enemies appear here. COC Test Arena Kurt. Completely empty. COC Test Cameron Cave. An empty cave that, based on its name, I'd assume was originally a plan design for the cave where you find Mankar Cameron and the Mystic Dawn trying to summon Mehrunes Dagon. Well, not completely empty. There is a Daedroth in here, quite strong, well at least against a level 1 character. COC Test Castle Interior. A floating set of ladder steps and a trapdoor. Fascinating. COC Test Cave 01 to Test Cave 05. Lumping these all in together. Empty caves with a working navigation system between them by the use of linked doors. I cannot remember offhand if this layout was actually used in the game or not. There is really nothing of merit across these five caves, so let's just skim over them. COC Test Chairs. Does exactly what it says. Contains different chairs, all of which can be sat on. Used to test the chair's work. COC Test Chappy. A small room with a staircase. Follow the stairs to find a female NPC chugging from a mug. A female NPC with the name Test Guy. Not Test Girl, but Test Guy. She offers only rumours. When I tried to use the sex change console command on her, it crashed the game. COC Test Chaden Hall. A rather empty looking Chaden Hall house. COC Test Chaden Hall Upper. Another rather empty looking Chaden Hall house. COC Test Citadel, an empty floating chunk of one of those towers in the realm of oblivion. Poorly lit too. Nothing here. You need to use TCL to get onto solid ground first anyway. COC Test Citadel Lighting, just two light rays. Yep, that's it. COC Test Clara, a submerged lower ship area and an upstairs room. I have a distinct memory of such a place existing in the finished game. COC Test Clara 02. A hall with three different thrones and some storage containers. The containers have little of genuine interest in them. COC Test Clara Tangent. Boats and town pieces from Anvil, mainly. Boats, the lighthouse, and some buildings. I'm not entirely familiar with them. Interesting to explore, but certainly not important. You need to use TCL if you plan to get anywhere. COC Test Dan. Empty cave, boring. COC Test Dan 02. Empty Aelid Ruin, boring. COC Test Dan 03, Empty Imperial City Interior, boring. COC Test Dungeon, another stupid, boring, empty cave. What's so fascinating about these? COC Test Eric Magic. This cell is based on the Aelid Ruin style. It has enemy spawners which allow you to create enemies to fight. Probably used to test combat, specifically magic combat. A cool room, specifically almost entirely because of the use of enemy spawners. What's not to love about immense slowdown? Feel the wrath of the mates of doom! COC test faces. This is a curious cell. A lineup of women upstairs, named after their ages, ranging between 15 and 65. One male NPC upstairs, Alban Corinis, appeared in the E3 demo but was subsequently cut from the game. Well, supposedly, because here he is. I knew one day someone with unyielding virtue would heed my words and speed my release. You risk much to perform such a selfless act. Alban's dialogue is mostly to test facial animation, and everything besides rumours and disposition dialogue are voiced by Todd Howard from Bethesda. That really pisses me off. Oh no, what do we do? I'm so scared. Fabulous. That's great. Good for you. Okay, I feel normal. I'm sorry, I didn't know. When? I didn't know that. How can this be? Downstairs, men named after their ages, also ranging from 15 to 65. There is a chest named Evidence, but it doesn't act like a normal evidence chest. There is also a bed. The lighting is actually very dark here, so I opted for using a night eye so I could see. COC Test Farmhouse 03. 
Wait, I recognize this place. It's part of Gragtown, huh? No point wasting time here then. COC test favelas. Some interior cells floating in the air. COC test firelights. A test of firelighting. Quite dark, but hey, looks like the firelighting works. Based on the interior of Waynorn Priory, where you meet Joffrey for the first time and tell him about the death of Uriel Septim. COC test fire sounds. Because you can't do the same thing in an area designed to test firelighting, can you? Oh wait, yes you can. I had to use night eye to be able to see in some places. COC test fog. Yep, fog works. COC test frank. More empty caves! It's a running theme. COC test grant warehouse upper. This cell's actual name is Grant's Messed Up Upper Warehouse. It is the upper class clutter warehouse, but without floors or walls or ceilings. You have to navigate by jumping on the objects. Why does this even exist? COC test guy. A house seemingly based on the same prefab as test faces. For a room called test guy, there isn't an actual test guy anywhere. Cause you know, Test Guy is currently chilling in Test Chappy, and is a girl. Unless Test Guy is this poor guy. Oh. COC Test Havoc. Havoc is the physics subsystem employed in the Gamebryo engine, and this room's name suggests that it served as a test for Havoc physics. Nothing much in here to imply that that is the case though. COC Test Havoc Settle. Lots of objects with physics in here, books, general clutter, not sure if that's the purpose of this room, but I seem to enjoy throwing things around for a while. COC Test HL. Taking out duplicates from our previous video, and other cells along the way that have been completely empty, this is the last cell we're looking at for the time being. This is Test HL, which I believe is probably a test cell solely for testing sky animation. Either that or it did once actually contain things but was cleared out. There's nothing much to this one. So this has been beyond the bounds and we've just looked at 47, yes, 47 interior test cells for Oblivion. There's at least another 70 to go. There'll probably be over another two videos I would imagine depending on how much cool stuff there is in them but there's still so much more left for us to sift through and I've already done so much researching this on my own since the last video just exploring these cells myself and yeah I'm finding it very enjoyable to do and I hope you're finding it enjoyable to watch. This has been Beyond the Bounds, thanks for watching. I can't stop